I brought my SaaS ZapX to $2,000 a month in about 45 days. I'm gonna pull back the curtain so that way you can do the exact same thing after watching this video. Now, ZapX was actually a software that I started in a video on this channel for a challenge. And so if you haven't seen the first few videos, go back and watch that right now. I'll link in the description so that way everything makes sense. But ZapX is a cold calling software. So it is a power dialer that enables people to make cold calls faster because you're able to cold call up to five people at a time. It'll automatically route you to whoever answers first. So the biggest thing with a success SaaS launch is one, validating the idea of what you're about to build. And then once you validate the actual idea, figuring out the you know couple of features that people actually care about the most to include in your minimum viable product before actually taking it to market. Now, there are tons of power dialers that are making a ton of money. So that was really what validated the idea for me. There's Aircall, there's Kixi, there's Dialpad. There's just tons and tons and tons of them and they're all making a lot of money. So that showed me that if they're all making a lot of money, I can make some money. So what I did next was I went to G2 or G2reviews.com. And what I like to do is I like to go through my competitors and with G2, you can easily filter the different types of reviews. And I like to go straight to the con section so I can look at where they are dropping the ball and where I can make improvements, you know, so that way they'll actually choose my product over one of these competitors. And the good news is, is a lot of these companies are so big now that they kind of forgot about the little customers and they really only focus on shipping updates for their giant enterprise clients. And so again, this presents a big opportunity for someone bringing a new product to market like myself. And so after going through a bunch of the reviews as well, I figured out the few features that they actually really cared about. And that was one, the parallel dialing that I mentioned, the ability to call up to five people at once because it allows you to just make way more calls per day. Then they cared about a few integrations like with HubSpot and with uh, Salesforce, for example. Those were the two really big integrations that people wanted. And then the last thing that people really, really cared about was local presence, which is when you call someone, it shows your area code being the same as the person you're calling that made you get a higher pickup rate. And so people really cared about that feature as well. Everything else was more of a nice to have. These were the only features that were like a need to have. And so we set the feature list for our MVP. And then I went out and I found a CTO and I partnered with him so that we, we could get this MVP built affordably and quickly. Now, one of the biggest complaints about all these competitors was how expensive they are. So they all charge like 150 to $400 a month per seat. Meaning if you have 10 cold callers on your team, which to be honest with you is not even a lot, you're then paying 1500 a month to $4,000 a month just for one software that you need to run your business, which is ridiculous and it is super expensive. And it's honestly a trend right now that business owners are getting fed up with how expensive softwares are and AI is bringing the cost of software down. And so that was a big complaint and I saw an opportunity here. And now normally I would never want to compete on price, but again, there's a big trend of people being fed up with overpriced softwares. And I was going through the economics and we really didn't have to charge that much. And so we launched at a very low price point of charging only $50 a month per seat and hopes to gain market share that way. I basically made the thesis that $50 a month that has you know all the features that they actually care about will be more attractive to them than $400 a month with those same three features, but then also some other bells and whistles that just make it look fancy, but they don't actually really use. Now to get to market quickly and affordably, I did what I've known you know, for the longest and what I do best, which is outbound sales. And so I bought 10,000 emails from ListKit and I bought about 2,000 phone numbers from ListKit and I bought some domains to start warming them up in Smartly, our cold email sending platform. And then I use our own tool to actually make cold calls ourselves. Now, almost immediately, and as you can see on the screen, I'll put them up here, we started to get some positive replies on our cold email campaigns, where then I would move them to an actual live demo of the product on a Zoom call with me. And then I would collect payment on that call and turn them into an actual paying customer. Now, something else that I would do is I would cold call people as soon as they responded positively, instead of going back and forth on email. And I would just say something like, hey, John, I saw you were interested in our product rather than going back and forth on email. Are you good to just book in a demo right now on this call? And then I would send them a calendar invite. And that's usually how I use my cold calling is I, I use it to call people once they've responded positively to an email. You book about 50% more demos actually by doing that. And now this got us our first few customers pretty quickly at 50 bucks a month, but there's like one little like hack, if you will, that is really, really effective to grow a business, but a lot of people just don't do it. And I'm not sure why, if they don't know about it or what, but I'm gonna let you in on the secret. Literally just partnerships. So figure out what other company or tool sells to the same ideal client profile as you, but it's a different tool or it's a different service and you you guys can share leads and you guys can both sell your solutions to the same people and it's even bonus points if they're complimentary. So a great one for us was Smart Lead. So we both sell to people that are doing outbound sales
sales, but they're a cold email sending platform and we're a cold calling software. And so we're selling to the same people, but different solutions so we can share our leads in and it's a win-win situation. Now we actually even went an extra mile and we built a very simple integration with SmartLead to when a positive reply came through on SmartLead, that lead got sent into a list inside of ZapX called positive reply and then it sent an email to the sales rep assigned to that lead and told them to call them, which again, it boosts your demo booking rate about 50%. Then I asked the founder of SmartLead if he would be down to do a joint training on how this works together, how they can use SmartLead and ZapX together for better results. And he kindly agreed. And we did a training for his community where I promoted and he promoted as well. And the result was incredible. We did an email opt-in to sign up for the training and we gathered over a thousand emails in just a short period of time, as well as having dozens of people live on the training. Basically what I did was I led the training for a bit. It was mainly just value, value, value. And then I very soft sold them on, you know, having a demo call with ZapX, you know, learn more and possibly sign up. So the result of that, we booked our calendar full for literally like at least a week and onboarded a lot of new clients as a result of that. Now, we also formed a few other partnerships with people that, for example, teach cold calling and that they would include Zapbacks inside of their course or coaching program as one of their preferred tools. That was very effective. And then also with sales agencies, which are basically just agencies that set up the sales processes and implement the sales tech for businesses. And again, Zapbacks was like their preferred dialer when they're setting up, you know, power dialers for their clients. Now, what I did after this was I did what I always always do. So at this point we were doing about 12 to $1,500 a month. And I just took that money and I hired an SEO agency because that's what I did at Closeify. And I know how powerful SEO is once it kicks in. Here's some of the blogs that they posted and like a little rundown of the SEO strategy that we were following with this agency. Basically with SEO, you have your onsite SEO, which is like optimizing the headings and all the words on your actual landing page. And you have technical SEO and then you have your blogs. Now I'm not an expert in SEO, but I'm sure that you could learn how to do it yourself from a few YouTube tutorials if you really want wanted to do that. Me personally, I just like to hire agencies and hire the experts and hire the people that it's all that they do. And so I've always opted to go that route and pay a little bit more money. But really those three things of outbound sales, partnerships, and SEO is how I was able to bring ZapX to $2,000 per month in like 45 to 60 days. And that was without using my personal brand. And that was without using much of my own capital. Since I partnered with a CTO, I think I actually spent less than $1,000 out of pocket on starting ZapX. All I really had to do was pay for like, you know, smart lead. I had pay for list kit, you know, the LLC formation, like, you know, maybe a few other miscellaneous softwares. But again, I really did not start it with much money at all. So this is just proof that literally any of you watching this can build your own successful SaaS company by following the blueprint that I'm laying out for you. Now, I know a lot of you wanted me to continue the series of me building ZapX on this channel, and so I wanted to provide you with an update. ZapX is still live and it is still running. However, I'm not going to be focusing on it for a few reasons. One, while I will never not do outbound, outbound performance, as in cold email, cold client LinkedIn, from 2022 to today, it's down about 50%. And so I don't really want to build in a decaying industry. Two. I really just started this company for the sake of content and for the sake of this YouTube channel. It's not actually, it's a business that I think is a good idea and a good business, but it's not something that I'm passionate about. It's not something that like I want to spend my time on because I don't actually enjoy running this business. And three, it doesn't excite me the way my new app does paid. I have a lot more conviction paid. It's in a niche that's much more exciting to me. It's what I enjoy. It's easier for me to work on it much longer every single day. And so for that reason is why I'm not focused on Zapbacks and we focus on paid. Paid is an app that you can think of as like TikTok shop but for software and apps. It's a growing market, it excites me, and I love to talk about it. So let me know, should I bring back the Build in Public series but with paid instead of ZapX? If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it valuable. If you did, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.